Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing my own tier list. Uh, I've done a few tier lists in the past. I think I've only done two. One for JP when I was still playing that version and one for Global which was a while ago. But uh, this time, obviously with the release of Lost Vein Meliodas and Fraugen, things are going to change big time. So, you know, I'm going to give you guys my opinion. Of course, this is all my opinion from someone who plays high tier PvP, top 100 PvP, you know, don't quantify me with anything less than you know champion challenger top 100 because i don't know what like I, I don't know what happens down there you know i don't play platinum masters stuff like that so yeah this is going to be my opinion of course and these are my tiers i do have the whale special which is literally just for one unit then we have the godly then we have meta off meta troll and yikes yikes is where the majority of the units are going to go because uh, in this point in the game, most of the units are pretty much garbage. There's a few troll units. There's obviously some really good units that are in off meta. You can use them effectively depending on the team that you run. And then we have meta, which is, you know, comps that aren't going to do as well, but they're still very prevalent. Like people still use them religiously. Uh, Mono Red and uh, a Pierce Rate team. And uh, Godly is going to be, you know, the new uh, upcoming meta units, in my opinion, of course. Whether people actually use them, I don't know, but whether they are gonna be very good uh, they will be so you know let's just uh, get into it of course we're gonna start off you know just in order i'll be skipping any units that are not on global this is a tier list from jp so uh yeah anyway let's go we do have uh, blue king first godly or meta hmm he's on geared i'd put him godly geared i'd put him meta just uh because uh green eskino would still destroy him i think i think I think I'll put him in. Uh, I think I'll I'll put uh, I'll put Blue King in Godly uh, in Ungeared. He's uh, he's fantastic, of course. Lots of uh, good teams you can run with Blue King. Uh, he's uh, like the most balanced unit. Like he does everything. You know, he has a insane ultimate. He can heal you. He has a uh, control with his petrify stuff like that. Uh, it's Blue King. I, I don't need to uh, go into uh, too much, uh, you know, depth on him. Next up, we do have uh, Blue Dian, now no longer the holder of strongest ultimate that goes to Lost Vein Meliodas. I'll put her in off meta though. She still has the second best ultimate in the game, so if you have her in a in an ult team that has protection, you get her ultimate. You're still gonna one shot, but people generally don't use her. Uh, it's mostly just whales that use her. You know, even though she is a coin shop unit, anyone can have her maxed. Uh, people just don't really use her. Next up is uh, Green Merlin. We'll just put her in Godly. Obviously, uh, I don't know if you guys uh, realize, but if you keep up to date with JP, you'll realize as the game goes on, the most prevalent thing is just going to be alt teams. And uh, literally every uh, every single new unit that comes out in the future that's going to be meta, they are going to rely, not rely, but they are going to work very well with Green Merlin since the game pretty much does become like a giant alt team fest. So uh, yeah, Green Merlin, absolutely no doubt, she is a godly tier unit in my opinion. Next up is Green Coin Shop Barn. He's a good unit. He's definitely a good unit, but uh, the time for him is, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's pretty gone now. He he did well when uh, Lilia and stuff came out. If you use them in the Pierce Rate team, the Barn Pen team, he did well there. But uh, at this point in the game, not too much he can do. He's a green unit. Obviously, I know Merlin is a green unit, but Merlin is different. Most of the time, you have her in the sub. But with Barn, he's going to be out in the front. And uh, with all of these powerful red units, he's just, uh, you know, he's not the uh, he's not the greatest uh, the greatest unit to use. But nonetheless, you can use teams where he's uh, pretty effective. So I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to discourage uh, or discredit him. He's still a really good unit, but I do have him in off meta. Next up is Red Demon Meliodas. Now... Depending on the circumstances of geared PvP, what the rules are, he could be like a really good unit or he could just be really bad. I mean, in ungeared, he's uh, pretty bad, like, uh, because ungeared, you don't have the, uh, you don't have the, uh, the gear boost. So, you know, you can't have like a crit damage or attack crit damage set to boost him up, make him do more damage. I don't want to put him in troll because generally if you're using him, you're not going to be trolling, I don't think. Like if you, like a crit team... A crit based team that is not a troll team so i think uh, i think i'm gonna put him in yikes he he's a decent unit but he's definitely not off meta definitely not like he's not like on the same level as these two so i am gonna have to put him in yikes obviously i didn't want to make too many tears because like there's literally no point so uh yeah next up is red escanor 
Hmm. Metal or godly? I'll put uh, I'll put him in godly just because it is red Escanor. Of course, he has a very well balanced kit. Whether you're using him in mono red, whether you're using him as a utility unit to reduce gauge stuff like that. Nonetheless, red Escanor, very good. Pretty much unkillable the first uh, three turns. So yeah, Gotha, yeah. I don't uh, I don't have to do I? All right, cool. Uh, Blue Malaski, oh, she can be very annoying, she, she lifesteals so much, so if you had her on some kind of troll team, it can be uh, very difficult to kill her, so I do have her in a troll. Blue Demon Meliodas, I'm going to put him in meta, he's still a very meta unit, I don't think he's a godly unit anymore, uh, even on uh, even in geared PvP, if someone has Red King, he won't be uh, two shot in, so yeah, it's still, it's still Blue Demon Meliodas, so uh, I'm not going to discredit him, he's still a fantastic unit. It's just, uh, you know, more and more people, as time goes on, as people get their dupes for Lost Vein before the banner leaves, everyone's going to switch to alt team and uh, you'll probably see less pierce rate teams. But obviously there are going to be those uh, people that will never stop using pierce rate because uh, it's just one of them teams, man. People just seem to love it and uh, they'll just never drop it for whatever reason. So I'll, uh, he's going to be in meta. Yikes, 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 yikes. Blue Jericho unreleased. Deanne, troll unit, if you uh, use her in geared PvP with attack crit resist set, she's going to crit every hit, so you can uh, you can have some fun with her, she's, she's not bad or anything, I did a video on her, she actually performed really good in ungeared PvP, and I'm pretty sure she would perform just as good in geared PvP, she's not off meta or anything, but she is, uh, she's pretty decent and uh, has, a, has a bit of fun to her. Next up, uh, she's unreleased as well, but she's a really good uh, raid unit. Next up is Blue Ellie. She is a troll unit, of course. If you have, if you ever fight someone with her, then uh, <laughs> you'll know that they're trolling because they just want you to kill her so she dies, and then she full heals her team, gives them two ultimate gauge. Uh, she like she's like the definition of troll unit. Next up is Blue Ellie Hawk. I'll put her in off meta. She's a really good unit still. Very good kit very uh you know very annoying with her passive if she's used with someone like red melascula or blue melascula you know what i mean so uh, yeah she's a good unit off meta you know you'd have to come up with something creative to make her good but i'm pretty sure if you uh tried your best you can definitely make her work also she's blue so if you play it like if you have the right team you'd probably destroy los fey meliodas's so yeah galland hmm this is a uh this is a difficult one. He's not. Uh, Galland is not. Yikes! Definitely, definitely, definitely not. Is he off meta though? I don't know, man. Uh, I don't know. I think uh, I'd like to put him in troll, but I really, I, I really don't know where I'd put Galland. Honestly, he's not a troll unit. I guess he kind of is with his coerce, but is he really off meta? Uh, nah. I think uh, I'll, I'll put him in troll because he's definitely not. Yikes! Definitely, definitely not. But is he really off meta? Could you really come up with a very solid team to make him good? At this point in the game, I don't think so. I think if you're using Galland at this point, you you are probably just uh, trying to have some fun. So yeah, I'll put him in troll. Blue Gother is a yikes. Hendrickson is a yikes. Fat King is a troll unit. If you are using him, I'm pretty sure you are just trying to uh, troll your opponent because of his, you know, uh, counter, his taunt. You know, he'll taunt, and then if you attack any uh, allies, he's going to counter-attack you, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, troll unit. Lilia, godly unit. I don't need to, uh, yeah, it's uh, it's Lilia. <laughs> I don't need to explain. This barn, I'm going to put yikes. This barn, I'm going to put yikes. Green King, troll unit. Uh, people like to use the Green King and uh, uh, Blue Ellie combo, although with the release of Lost Vein, They'd probably use LV instead of Green King, but nonetheless, you know, he, he has a very powerful ultimate. He, he basically has King Ultimate and guarantees a critical hit on every single unit. So uh, just for that, he's really good. I, I wouldn't put him in off meta though, just because he is green in a world of uh, red powerful units. So I'll keep him in troll. That's my opinion, of course. Anyway, this uh, this fat king, I'm not going to lie. I tried him on the pace rate team and he was absolutely crazy. Like He was really, really good. But that was in ungeared PvP. I don't know how it would work in geared. Uh, 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 nah, I, I'd have to put him in troll. Yeah, there's no way. Also, on second thought, if it's geared PvP and you had a triple crit damage set with King, he could be pretty bonkers off meta. Uh, 
Yeah, you, mm, yeah, you know what? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll put King in off meta because he is a good unit. Uh, much, much, much better in geared PvP than he would be in ungeared because you can give him that triple crit damage set and he will eventually guarantee himself uh, crits. So, yeah, yeah, I'll just make a quick change. We do put Green King in off meta. Uh, next up is Green Lilia. Hmm. I think uh, normally I'd put her in off meta, but I don't think she's uh, too viable in the current meta, so I am going to put her in troll. She can be very annoying, you know, really annoying with her unique. Decrease uh, enemies attack by 16% in PvP and then of course you can reduce your attack even more by using her debuff skill. She has that AoE that makes you take more damage. Uh, no, actually what am I talking about? She's uh, definitely off meta. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. She's a good unit. I, I don't know, man. Mm. Yeah, nah. Definitely a good unit off meta for, for, uh, for sure. Green Meliodas troll unit. You guys know why. Full count of cheese. Valenti. No longer meta, but definitely can, uh, you know, you can make some creative uh, teams of her. So I will definitely put her in off meta. She's uh, she's still a really good unit. Glox is unreleased. This, Diane. Uh, as much as it pains me, I'm going to put her in Yikes. Like, even though she is a Diane, she does have the strongest ultimate. She's not as uh, consistent or her skills aren't as good as the blue Diane's. So uh, I'll put her in Yikes. She's not a troll unit. If you're using her, you're not trolling. So, uh, yeah. Uh, green Demon Meliodas not released. This Dian now, uh, now, godly unit, godly, godly unit. If you guys uh, saw my previous videos on her, I did say eventually she would become a top tier unit, and uh, with the release of Lost Vein, she officially is a top tier unit. So, uh, yeah, good on her. Next up is Death Pace. I love my boy Death Pace. Troll or off meta? Uh, I'm going to put off meta because crit teams are not troll teams, they're legit teams that try to uh, take advantage of crits because we know that crits just do more damage than normal hits, so I'll put Death Pierce in off meta, you can't have a crit based team without him, so uh, yeah, and he is a good unit by himself, he can completely shut out Gothers and Arthurs and stuff like that, so uh, yeah, we'll put uh, Death Pierce in off meta. Elaine is Dookie, this Elizabeth can be pretty cancerous. I do want to put her in off meta, but she's uh, yeah, people really don't use her. She can be very cancerous though, so I would definitely do put her in troll. Green Escanor. I'm going to put him in meta, not off meta, because he doesn't provide the same amount of control as Red Escanor, especially with all these alt teams. I know he's good himself in regards to ultimates because he can rush them himself. You know, he's the same as Lost Vein. He can, you know, get a level two and then get one extra gauge, blah, blah, blah. But for now, I do think people are going to use Green Escanor less, or at least that's my opinion. I haven't seen many Green Escanors recently in uh, higher tier PvP, so for me, I'd put him in meta. Who's next? Greymore is Dookie. This Gila is unreleased. This Helbrim is Dookie. Jericho, with a weak point buff, man. She was uh, she was pretty good, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put her in off meta tier. She's far too squishy. I'll put her in troll. This Green Barn is useless. Red Merlin. I want to put her in Godly. I really do. Actually, I can't even put her in Godly because not that many people use her. I can't put her in Meta because not that many people use her. I'll put her in Off Meta, but she is a really, really, really good unit. You know, don't take my word for it. Trust me. Against alt teams, Merlin can be fantastic. So, yeah. This Mon Speed is Troll. No, Troll. Uh, I'm not going to put him in Dookie. He can definitely be a Troll unit. If you have dupes in him, then uh, you can also make some uh, really good uh, really good plays. Deldry is a troll unit. You guys know why. This Ellie is unreleased. This barn. I have a guild mate who swears that this barn is so good, but I, I, I just don't see it. Uh, I just don't see it. <laughs> Sorry, Gaijin, but I, ju I, I just don't see uh, <laughs> what it's about with this barn. He's, uh, he's pretty bad. Benimaru, dog. This Diane is dog. Red Gill. I'd put off meta. There's still going to be, uh, you know, people using the Red Gill alt team somewhere in geared PvP. Uh, Gila, even though she has a good skill set at this point, she's a bit of a yikes, in my opinion. Hellbrum, Kingbrum isn't used as much, but it's still ever so deadly. It's, of course, Kingbrum, so he's off meta. I wouldn't put him in meta. Not enough people use him. Hauser, off meta. Some might still use him in the front, but not that many people will. Red King, uh, Red Fat King unreleased. This King unreleased. He's unreleased. 
Arthur, still meta of course. Uh, I'm gonna be real man, most of the uh, SR units officially are dead. Like, I would put green green gill in uh, off meta, but yeah, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Even though you shouldn't be using SR units at this point, I'll do it. We'll put a uh, red, uh, red uh, green more there as well. And besides that, there's no other, you know, Ellie Hawk potentially. Nah, I tried her in, in uh, Ungear and that was destroyed. I'll put this Ellie Hawk in troll though. Not Ellie Hawk, this Ellie. She can be very cancerous. I'll put her in troll. And the rest of these, uh, oh, I'll just, yeah. Actually, yeah, we'll, we'll do that for Twigo, and then the rest are just gonna be whatever. Uh, Red King, Godly, you like, yeah, you're gonna, yeah, you you need Red King. Esther Rosa, not meta, not that many people use him anymore, but he's still a really good unit. Red Esther is garbage. The Valentine's Day lollies are unreleased. Derriere, I'm gonna put her in off meta because just not not enough people use her. Obviously a fantastic unit, but I don't see her nearly like I just don't see her much at all, so I will put her in off meta. Uh who else? This Derriere. If people know how good she is in this current meta, she'd be in the meta, but not enough people use her as I said, so I'll put her in off meta. And then Melascula is a troll. This gallon kinda sucks. Bellion's unreleased. Eastern Mono unreleased. This Arthur off meta, he can be really good. He can be really, really good. But that would be in uh, geared PvP. Uh, Bellion's unreleased, 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 unreleased. Are all of these just unreleased? Uh, no. Eren. I think a uh, troll. Definitely. Levi. If it's on geared PvP, he's dookie if it's geared pvp i'd put him in off meta so for now i'll put him in troll all of these are unreleased mikasa she's not meta anymore but she's uh still mikasa she can still solo your team well as long as you don't have lost vein ultimate she could probably solo your team also gustav i just remembered he is a troll unit as well um i think that's pretty much it am i missing anyone i don't think oh no wait sr Aaron. Off meta as well. He's a really good unit. <clears throat> and then who else? Is that it? That seems to be it. Yeah, that seems to be it. Alright, so Fraudrin. The tier just for him, of course. And Losvein Meliodas. <clears throat> wow, he should be here as well. The uh, GSSR resets now, so if you just summon enough, you can max him. Uh now nah, what am I doing man I can't I can't I can't do that man I can't do that yeah yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll do this he's just uh he's just too far ahead he really is too far ahead and uh, that's gonna be it I'm not gonna bother putting all the all this garbage in yikes obviously uh, also all of these units are unreleased unless I missed one which I don't think I did yeah no I didn't uh, yeah I didn't miss uh, oh wait green mon speed Green Monspy off meta can be really good, but that just depends on uh, how he goes. So yeah, as you can see, lots of off meta, lots of trolls, a few yikes. <clears throat> the off meta is like, a lot of these units used to be used frequently, but now they're not. And meta and godly is pretty much just the, the same units you're going to see all the time. Like yeah, The units in godly and meta, you'll see them all the time. Uh, Lost Vein, you'll see him pretty much every game at this point. If you don't see him, count yourself lucky. And Fraudren, you will uh, rarely see him, but when you do, it's, uh, it's not going to be a good time. And uh, yeah, boys, that's going to be it. Of course, that's a top player's opinion. I don't know if you agree. Let me know in the comments, you know. Uh, I do read my comments. We can have a chat about it. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's going to be my PvP tier list for the foreseeable future until some uh, new OP units release. So yeah, that's going to be it for the video, guys. Subscribe if you are new. Leave a like if you enjoy this, and I'll see you guys in my next PvP video. Take care.